Hmm, what do you do when your child or your teen is acting out or under motivated? We're gonna be talking about these things and more on Dabber. I'm here with Tim Grace from Flea Community Services. Here with Tim Grace, this is Dad Better, and uh, Tim, thanks for coming. Love what you guys are doing at Plea, but for those who don't know about it, um, give us a tweet size format. What is Plea, and what do you do there? Um, Plea is a, a youth program. It's nonprofit. So originally, it was uh, based on um, just youth that were on probation. Hmm. Um, in the last, I guess, approximately 10 years or so, it's opened the doors for uh, referrals from social services too. Basically just um, youth that are in trouble or having some form of crisis in their life. Um, I work in uh, one of the Genesis schools, so mm. it's more um, getting to know the youth, uh, getting to know what challenges they're having with where they're at and, and trying to make that work around them moving forward in some form of educational. Mm -hmm. setting to um, complete either some form of schooling or training in order to be out there and work mm -hmm. and enjoy some of the um, nice aspects of life that you know we've learned to um, appreciate mm -hmm. without having the fallback of running into trouble or crisis or conflict mm -hmm. well, or good. at least learn to deal with those in a healthy way yeah yeah that yeah. Uh, some of us dads need to learn that, yeah. No, <laughs> I mean, for sure. Yeah, we need Grace, yeah. yeah. We, need, we need Tim Grace here to help us out, yeah. Uh, so I'm guessing, well, how long have you been with Plea for? Uh, I started with Plea uh, 26 years ago. 26 years, wow. So that's a lot of time with, with youth. And uh, what, what have been some of the most rewarding times for you? Some of the rewarding stuff would be the um, Watching the youth do some of the new things that they've done with us, and just seeing their them having fun. Most rewarding would be, I guess, a couple of the callbacks I've gotten and the clients that I've uh, finished with that are doing well, raising a family, functioning out there, and just having a great time and enjoying mm -hmm. the parts of life that I enjoy and uh, have manage to sort out their personal issues and move on and do that mm. and they've seen you know and they just appeared very grateful for the support they got so mm. i guess that would be that would, that's the kind of reward that keeps you going i think yeah totally yeah. wow and, and when you go through the hard times what are what are some, some of the most more challenging times what does that look like challenging is uh spending a few hours with a kid and having some positive stuff or Last few years, you know, when you see some of their names come up and they're um, dealing with some serious stuff in the community, mm. in the court systems and stuff, and you realize, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's just the battle is still continuing for them and mm. they weren't able to make those turns or changes, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be really challenging. Whether it was surprising or not, sometimes it's not, but it's just, it's, it's sad either way. Like, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Just uh, figure what a hard life. Yeah, definitely. You know, cool. what kind of things can dads do when a child or teen is acting out? Wow, um, every kid's different. I don't know how I do it. Sometimes you try to use words. Mm. And that's really all you can do. Mm. Um, whether it's a boy or a girl, it's like it's just what's going on. Mm. As for how you're going to get that response, it depends on how well you know them. Mm -hmm. If you don't know them very well, well, why would they trust you? You got to have some sort of, um, maybe not trust is maybe too big a word. Uh, maybe it's just a relationship, mm. some some basis of respect, mm. where they know where you're gonna you you're, you're gonna shoot straight at them. Yeah, you're gonna ask, you're not gonna mask. Your feelings but at the same time you're gonna at least say it in a way that um, treats them with respect mm -hmm. yeah. and you may not fix it all in that one time they might walk away and swear at you but if they show up the next time mm -hmm. they obviously um, had thought about what you said and there must be some sort of respect to it mm -hmm. so then you just build from there totally. it's maybe the argument small that time yeah but uh, or big that time but it's smaller the next time mm. and maybe they've thrown a few tidbits at you you know mm. 
it's really, uh, I, I guess you have to listen to what they say too. Mm -hmm. Because really it's about them, it's not about you. Yeah. And that's the hard part, right? Mm. Listen to what they've got to say, that's that's good. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, that, that I, I think um, dropping the personal, mm. you know, and not taking it all on yourself and it's mm. going to hold up what's going on for them. Right. So, yeah. and, um, and that's hard to do when you get to know kids better mm. because you get attachments. Yeah. And so then it starts to become about you. So mm. then you got to stop. Yeah. And, you know, it's okay to do that, mm -hmm. but you have to recognize it mm -hmm. and you might have to pull back and, and let them know that you've recognized it and say, ooh, sorry. Mm. That was my feelings going into this and uh, we're talking about you. And yeah. I'm sorry, but this is why I felt this way and this is what was happening for me. Mm. They, you know, sharing has to go two ways. So, yeah, unfortunately, right. it's uh, one of those battles where, mm. you know, you gotta you gotta give some of yourself in order to get something back. Yeah, that's right. So whatever yeah. that is, take the hit and just let's deal with, you know, what's going on. Yeah, and, yeah. You, have, I, you have to be in touch with yourself. Yeah, yeah. So and that's sometimes that's hard for guys. Yeah, yeah. So uh, guys, knowing to, yourself, allowing yourself to reflect on what you're processing and. And yeah. you know, knowing where the feelings come from, you know, mm -hmm. you can, I, you can get to be a closed book, you know, mm -hmm. it, uh, as a guy, and um, you know, and acting out, I guess, through sports and stuff like that is a good release. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there still has to be some sort of a mental communication when you're dealing with the youth, so mm -hmm. to um, to be able to deal with it, like you can't bang everything that you want to. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it would be nice, but yeah, bring a drum kit with you everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, you mentioned the the relationship with the, the parents is like really important, mm -hmm. and um, like for dads, what are some things that dads could say in that situation where their child or their teenager is acting out? What could dad say? Um, it's. You know, it's uh, getting to know your kid, spending time with them, knowing who their friends are. Mm. Those are um, those help open the doors. Mm. Uh, hearing what they say, um, getting a feel for why they're frustrated, mm. um, and then looking at it and um, being part of the solution. You know, as to how to solve whatever the problem is. Hmm. Um, some emotions are coming out. You know, it might be one thing that started them, but then it's just then it's just out of control, right? There's mm -hmm. a there's a bit of a path to it, hmm. and you kind of got to figure out how to go through that path and still um, take it back. And okay, well, how do we deal with it next time? Yeah, you know, that's right. Yeah, there's. Do, yeah. do you talk about that together, like with? Um, with, with my daughter, we, uh, uh, my wife does most of that talking mm -hmm. part, um, because my daughter, um, they, they chat, uh, my daughter will ask me how I would deal with things and then have a good chuckle about it, mm -hmm. yeah. because she always likes to, she finds it amusing, my differences in my wife, so, right, yeah. she, you know, it's a poke at me, but it's, <laughs> you know, but I think um, she does get the, the, uh, the aspect that it has to be addressed. Mm -hmm. She may not do it my way, mm -hmm. and I'm okay with that because yeah. my way isn't necessarily right. Mm -hmm. I do get pretty fired up. I am yeah. an emotional person, but um, I, I I like that she gets humor out of uh, <laughs> yeah. how I would you know, how I respond and what I say. Yeah, and uh, you know, and then she refines it. Yeah, yeah and I always love to see what she has mm -hmm. as a response. Hey, I learn stuff from her too. Mm. It's uh, it's quite fun. Dad, dads, your your way is not always the right way. It's, it's good for us to remember. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, what about like motivation for for you know a child or a teen? Uh, how how can you say something or do something to help them be motivated if they're really dragging their heels? Gotta find a way to make fun. Mm. Find out what they want and um, see how that connects to what they want mm. and draw that line for them so that they can see where it's going to. Mm. Some of the times with youth that we work with, they're not motivated in going there because they don't see the connection between that and where the great things that they see out there. 
I was uh, lucky enough not to know that I had the right not to go to school. I just went to school because I respected my parents. Mm. And I just followed those rules and just kept going along and doing those things and they all took care of the rest of me mm. by doing those things. But mm. some kids think that they can just do their own thing and they just do it and stumble and fall on that. And that's okay too, like uh, being an innovator and just doing your own thing and out there and doing that. But you got to notice the rest of the world around you because mm. um, some of our kids tend to bump into a lot of things and mm. in ways that draw negative attention. Yeah. You know, and you got to learn how to, okay, you drew negative attention, but learn from it. And how mm. to turn that into a bit more of a positive. Mm. And how to motivate them, it's just uh, make it fun. Mm. Make if it you fun. Can. Cool. Yeah, make it something. Make it fun. Make it positive. Um, and connect it to where they're wanting to go because mm. yeah, maybe that's not what they need to do mm. you know like uh, kind of like envisioning them problem solving with them yeah like my daughter didn't want to play soccer anymore and i didn't want her to play soccer i didn't mm. like standing in the rain <laughs> right i did not i played soccer but i didn't put my parents through watching it i yeah. went and they never came and watched yeah. and there's a lot of standing in the rain in vancouver so. oh there is <laughs> and so she want, didn't want to play soccer anymore but the one thing i did do and i had to do it too is i made her finish the season mm complete what she started. Mm, that's good. Okay, and uh, we both went through that. I didn't want to, but I thought it's the best thing that she complete what she started. Mm. It's very important that you do that. Mm. And if you want to move on, move on. Mm. But, you know, make sure you completed the commitment that you've made. Yeah. And she did that. And um, then later she wanted to start ice hockey. Mm. And yes, I'm happy with that. I grew up in Ontario, I love hockey. Mm -hmm. And um, so we got her into a team part time, and, mm -hmm. and she liked it, and so she's continued. Awesome. So she just finished her uh, last season uh, for midget. Mm -hmm. So now it's whatever it might be, beer league hockey or whatever, or sure. university hockey, like intramural. But it'll be an in mm -hmm. introduction for her to meet friends. But mm -hmm. that's uh, that's an example of her quitting something. But she had to follow through and. She's always learned to follow through with things mm. and complete stuff. And if she doesn't want to, she's allowed to move on. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Like she's not going to be like me. She's got different stuff going on, and mm -hmm. that's okay too, right? Mm. So that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, you've alluded to you've got a daughter. Uh, mm -hmm. How many kids do you have, and how old are they? One daughter. She's uh, seventeen. Um, just finishing grade twelve. Mm -hmm. Moving on for uh, looking at university and mm. you know and just uh, um, I don't know uh, just the one but uh, yeah. a full full load yeah know, likes her ice hockey dance one's definitely music. enough yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> well you've got three so yeah. well, I can I can uh, yeah, yeah. and I've one's got, a handful then three you're juggling yeah yeah so. and it's I got friends with a bunch of kids and I don't know how they make it out to our hockey games so yeah. And, you, and you're with so many youth as well, with mm -hmm. what you do as well, so. Yeah, this is, uh, when I go to the school, I consider it like my day family. Mm -hmm. and then I go home to my evening family. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just, uh, just mm -hmm. you have to sort of keep it that atmosphere, because mm -hmm. you got to be there, and uh, you might as well um, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. That's so, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what's, what's been your, your favorite uh, age for your daughter? Oh boy. What's been the most difficult too? <laughs> um, I'm not sure I've met the most difficult yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'm a strong believer that there's one age that um, for all youth up to mid late 20s where they just drive you bananas so there's a <laughs> crisis or some sort of issues that go through with them. I've seen it with mm. my nephews and nieces. Mm. Um, there's always an age. Uh, I don't think I've really had any, uh, I don't feel there's ever been any uh, negative age with her. Mm. Um, I guess the favorite ages have been um, the watching the hockey and participating mm. in some of the sports with her. Mm. Maybe now because she's very active um, with her music and with her art. Mm. So watching what she's creating and um, how intense she is into it, like how much she enjoys it and mm. applies herself. Mm. 
I guess uh, you know that's uh, big appreciations to age. Mm -hmm. But it's really hard to pick one year because yeah. every year is different, and totally. I can't say I. You know, probably the best thing I ever did was took five weeks off when she was born and mm. hung out at home. Mm. So that was uh, mm. that was a fun experience. Take five weeks off if you can. Yeah, awesome. exactly. Yeah, yeah. you know, it just happened to fall yeah. on Christmas, so I got oh. lucky with the extra days there. That's awesome. Time it for Christmas. There you go. <laughs> Ten months. Mm. Yeah. Well, all right, honey. Let's get to it. Happy February. Yeah, that's right. That's awesome. Well, what what kind of a um, Encouragement would you give for dads out there? I'd, I'd say be there as much as you can for them. The early years are very important. The daycare we had was it was a smaller one. It wasn't as big, um, a very big formal one. So it was a lot more nurturing. Mm. Um, I think my daughter learned a lot from that. Um, she had to do, all the older kids had to do their homework before they could have fun. Hmm. So those kinds of decisions we made then and um, the positive relationship we had with the daycare and that um, carried over to the way she is now. It's helped with her personal disciplines on learning to get things done before she could go have some fun. Hmm. And she really focuses on that. Hmm. So. You know, I, a lot of the things that, uh, you know, and that's not just me, that's um, the interaction with my wife and my mm -hmm. wife doing a lot of that stuff too. Mm -hmm. um, she's had a, you know, it's just the balance and the mm -hmm. supports back and forth. Um, they've really helped mm -hmm. in those that's early good. years. Of, they're making this, this age mm -hmm. a lot easier. She's making independent decisions and mm -hmm. she's checking in when she wants to figure stuff out and she's embracing it and taking it on herself. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And that's nice. So it's so uh, partnerships a big thing. Like, partnerships awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's to me it's um, you know I know there's a lot of single families, but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that um, the partnership part can't mm -hmm. still work. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I think it's very important. Yeah. It's just uh, maybe it's a it's going to be in a different form, but mm -hmm. really the uh, the relationship stuff is important just for the kid to see mm -hmm. that you can move on, you can uh, mm -hmm. make things work. So partnerships important um, in terms of the role of a dad. Um, is that important? What What would you say about that? The role of a dad. Oh, it's uh, just. I would say it's just as important as the role of the mom. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the mom carries a major role in the birth and all that part, and um, but the dad's playing a very supportive role, and uh, you know, there's um, the tag team of. Uh, nowadays where you're you know just with today's income to mm. keep keep a household afloat yeah the, yeah. the costs involved so sometimes both parents are working mm -hmm. you don't have that option so mm. we both need to be able to juggle our lifestyles and decide okay who's gonna be uh, picking her up to mm. get her to this concert or um, you know I've been involved in coaching now for probably eight Eight or eight or nine of the ten years that she was in hockey, I think mm. I, uh, I was coaching. Mm. So there's a commitment there because yeah. when she was sick, I was still on the ice mm. with girls that weren't my daughter. Yeah. When my daughter was off to some other event or out of town, and I was like, oh, I still got a game and two practices to be at. Mm. So there's there's other commitments that go even beyond. So you got to be there for a lot of things, mm -hmm. and it's uh, yeah. So the dad's role is very important. I That's think good. it's you're you're paying you're you know my wife, my daughter, and my uh, self. There's three parts to that family, and all three mm -hmm. part of, parts have to function for us to get around. Yeah, Whether good. it's something broken down and I'm fixing it, or I end up doing the laundry and my wife's mm -hmm. doing dishes and. Mm -hmm. My daughter's off doing her homework, and then we gotta walk the dog, and mm -hmm. sort of uh, the whole balance in there, right? Even the dog's yeah. part of the family. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> a very, uh, you know, very big part of it. Yeah, so. very comforting that friendship, and yeah, yeah. and something you look forward to when you yeah. get home, right? He's yeah. all over, and he's happy to see you, and, yeah. and he spends every night in my daughter's bed. You know, oh, that's where right. he heads. He's just that's where he uh, mm -hmm. makes his beeline to. And and for all the dads out there. Uh, yeah, we're learning all this stuff as we go, and so we you know we need to live by grace, grace for ourselves and grace for our kids, and that's that's what we often say at Dad Better, and uh, 
Yeah, so let's get, uh, for, for the young men out there, uh, mm -hmm. how can young men help out with plea? What, what are some opportunities out there? I would, uh, if you're interested in any uh, form of, uh, whether it's volunteering or whether it happens to be you're thinking about youth work and that, volunteering is probably the best way. Mm -hmm. um, through the plea has a volunteer program. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's um, with preteens or whether it's with teens, they match up guys with guys and gals with gals. Mm -hmm. And you can look it up on the plea website. Does it look like uh, an hour, two hours a week kind of thing? I'll be along those lines. Okay, yeah. and you know, it's um, it's a commitment. Mm -hmm. It's like I said, when my daughter's still not at hockey, I'm still there. Mm -hmm. Well, likewise, this is some kid who's looking forward to um, seeing you, and they're probably nervous the first time, just like mm -hmm. you're a bit anxious about meeting them the first time. And mm -hmm. uh, once you build that relationship, it's um, you know, there's a bit of a commitment to be consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, it's. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, you know, it's a kid. Yeah, that's all exactly. I can say. Yeah, it's, uh, I, life I is unpredictable, feel... and yeah, they're, yeah, and they're trying to figure things out. And you're by being there and being consistent, you're helping them to learn that, and you're helping them to build that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy for our kids to um, be pretty dismissive mm -hmm. in our school environment uh, if there's a lot of turnover in the staff. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, they're already having enough difficulties, uh, a little bit of consistency helps mm -hmm. to um, work on issues. Like, who, it's hard to share personal issues with someone you just don't know. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're not sure you even respect them, mm -hmm. or like them, or mm -hmm. even care about them. It's like, well, I want to talk about my personal stuff with you. Mm -hmm. So. You know, it's uh, you know, it there is a commitment, um, and they'll talk to you about that with the program. Um, but it's a great way to uh, just get out and help uh, you deal with some of the stuff that there's going on in their life. Um, just you know, just getting ready to uh, you know addressing homework issues and, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe their first job, mm -hmm. getting ready for that. Like. You know, I didn't remember even going from my first job. All that was with my parents. Mm. So doing it with my daughter and getting her resume, and mm. you know, and she did that part of that in school, and then of course, oh, well, we got to get your social insurance number, and, mm. and then all those processes. And it's like I do it with work, but it's for a second that you know you go blank. It's like, oh, this is my daughter though. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> then I realize it's the same process, and it's like, yeah. all right. So these kids need that support too, and mm. uh, they need someone nice to have someone just come along with them and learn how to do it with them and mm -hmm. figure it out. First driver's license, whatever it might be. Obviously you can't do that with those guys, but mm -hmm. with um, kids that you're volunteering with, but you can help them get at least the setup pair ready. Mm -hmm. That's you awesome. Know. Sweet, well uh, dads, you know, young men out there, uh, there's lots of opportunities to help out with PLEA and uh, you can contact them, PLEA Community Services online. Yeah. It'll be right here, <laughs> website. <laughs> <Ta> -da. <laughs> All right, and uh, thanks so much, Tim. Really appreciate right. it. Thank you. And uh, yeah, let's live by grace. Let's keep learning, and encouraging each other online. And uh, this is Dad Better out. <laughs>